Man. What's going on, boys and girls? I thought for a second there I was going to have to make another one of those patented BBD slash Tennessee balls choke again videos, but nope. I've said it my entire YouTube career, and I'll continue to say it until God sake takes me home. Make your free throws, win the game. And surprisingly, that's exactly what Tennessee did. It's funny, I texted uh, my buddy Billy Cole Thursday night and said, free throws are going to end up free throws are going to end up costing us a game in this tournament. And he just texted back, nah. And Adu goes one for two, his first trip to the line. And then his next trip to the line, he goes two for two. And then Dalton Connect closes it out four for four. Tennessee hangs on for the four-point win in what would have to be defined as a defensive struggle at best. Texas had a plethora of turnovers. Uh, Tennessee, uh, they had so many chances to put this game away and just couldn't do it. And, you know, props to Texas for staying in the game, knocking down a couple of big threes there at the end. Hunter going to the, going to the paint and making it happen at the basket. Waka getting in foul trouble really hurt Tennessee, I thought. Uh, you know, he sat on the bench a lot of the second half after getting his fourth foul. And then, of course, you know, late in the game, they kind of had to keep him out of harm's way, if you will, as in not going to the line. But, man, he was a force at the beginning of the game. And this could set up Finally, a Tennessee versus Oregon game, which me and my son have been looking forward to seeing happen since we first met four years ago, almost four years ago. I would love to see that, a Tennessee-Oregon matchup, but this is the point in Rick Barnes's tournament history where the buttholes pucker up and you start saying to yourself, okay, when does the choke happen? It's, it's just the way it is. Tennessee never made a Final Four in our history. Yeah, 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 we know. We know, Uncle Lou. Uh, is this the year that we finally get that monkey off our backs? I don't know. Two games. Just got to win two more games to get to the Final Four. But I've been saying it all year. I don't just want to get to a Final Four. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to say we finally made it to one. But I want to get there and win it. And I would love nothing more than to see a matchup with Purdue in the Final Four, which was is what we would probably have if Purdue keeps winning and we can keep winning. I think we've been close against Purdue so many times that if we get one more shot at those bastards, we're going we're gonna to climb the wall and finally get over the top, I think. But got to get there. Survive in advance. That's the name of the game this time of year. Survive in advance. Just look at NC State. Those dudes are in the Sweet 16 by winning seven consecutive games. Only the second program in history to win five games in five days to win their conference tournament. Uh, UConn did it first back in, I don't remember the year, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, I don't know. They won the Natty that year. Is NC State going to win the Natty this year? Highly unlikely. Very highly unlikely. But... Jimmy V, if you're watching your wolf pack, you got to be proud. And Tennessee fans, got to be proud. Got to be. I know it's just a sweet 16, 
But hey, still dancing, baby. That's, that's at least five more days we get to enjoy the thought, at least, of our boys finally bringing us a natty and something. Is that going to happen? Me and my dimples don't know. I just hope I can hang in there till it happens, if it happens, when it happens, if and when it happens. Love you, mean it. This would be a great time to hug your mom and dad. Go balls. Screw y'alls. We're still dancing, baby.